Welcome back. This time, since it's been asked a few times now, we're going to take a closer look at layered recipes. Now, this stuff can get a little complicated, but don't worry too much. I'll leave links to some of the more basic tutorials that I've done so far in the description. And anything that may be glossed over in this one was definitely be in there. Now we start with an empty doorway. And once you know the space you'll be working with, we can start to build each separately moving segment of your door. Because, yeah, every moving part actually has to be built as a separate construct and then brought together at the end in order to create the final product. So with that concept in mind, I actually went ahead and built each segment of our door that we're going to want. And I took extra care to line them up perfectly. So as you can see, this door is further back in the block then this one and then this one which is further forward so from this point now we've got all of our physical doors actually set up all we have to do is take our little recipe our blueprint and select all of our doors individually left one and right one separately and turn them into their own doors now for a staggered opening setup like this, we're actually gonna have to use the advanced door option down at the bottom here. And to set this up correctly, you're basically gonna need each successive door to continue moving on after the first one has stopped. And I'll show you what this looks like. As we can see here, doors A, B, C from top to bottom, left doors and right doors for each layer all laid out. The transformation here is happening on the z-axis and on the first layer door a left and right both have the first section of the animation then on the second layer the middle layer here you can see door b left and right both have the same animation as their left and right door a's but we've also expanded it to continue the animation on a bit further and then for the third layer, you can see the same thing is happening. We've got the same animation from door A and door B, but we've also added on extra to that animation so we can complete it and see it through. When you put them all together at the end, grabbing our final little blueprint and clicking all of our doors, scroll all the way down to door activator. And you can see all of our doors are nicely laid out here, which is pretty neat and make sure you select all the doors click save place it down and now we have a working elevator door now obviously in this example the the back side of the door doesn't look so good now you can set it up so you can do a double sided setup like this and the end product is basically that and the doors like link up looking pretty good in the middle and if we take a look at oh, the top of this you can see here exactly how this works there's these two pieces here which is basically a single door uh, the same on this side which is another single door and then we have these two pieces in the middle on either side and they're both their own doors as well combining all of these together you can then create a really really smooth like an elevator opening and closing door sequence doors however aren't the only things that you can use this technique for stairs work surprisingly well with this effect. This could also work for some more unusual stuff like uh, the spinning reactor I made for the Mirror HQ Among Us map, or even this windmill which actually animates animations. All this using the concept of layered blueprints, so definitely a really powerful tool once you figure it out. And if you've got any cool ideas of where you could use this layered effect, then definitely leave them in the comments below. Now, this world will be available on my Patreon for you to download for free. So if you want to try this technique out for yourself, you want to figure out, go through the recipes and like look for yourself at how these things were put together, then I'm giving you all the tools to hammer away at this statue to your heart's content. 
And hell, if you're looking for a mini adventure, why not download the Wizard's Edifice adventure map and see if you have what it takes to explore the islands, find the keys and escape with your life in a completely custom Little Tiles Minecraft experience.